It's difficult to show the sound level of the electric eel wheel 6 in a video like this because there's a host of factors that matter. The type of microphone matters. Its positioning matters. The frequency response of that microphone matters. The loudness of your speakers when you're playing it back matters. Even the human ear matters. Different people will hear different sounds as either louder or quieter based on frequency and a few other minor things. So this is a really hard problem, but uh, I'm going to do the best that I can in this video to sort of show you how loud or quiet the electric eel wheel six is. What I can say is that it is the quietest e-spinner I have ever made. It's quieter than the electric eel wheel 5.2 and it's quieter than the electric eel wheel nano. From this point on I'm not going to be doing any of my normal sound editing. So normally I do that to make it easier and more pleasant to your ear when you're listening to these videos but from now on no sound modification. That's one less thing that uh, may distort your perception of the sound, so I'm just removing that one completely from now on in the video. First off, I just want to talk a little bit about the changes that have really made it quieter. There's really two. One of them is the motor, is just a quieter motor. And then the second thing that I've really put a lot of effort into is the spindle. So that's the um, stainless steel portion that goes through the center, and I've machined that to a much better tolerance than I've ever done before on a spinning wheel. Like on the Nano here, the uh, spindle is just uh, injection molded plastic and you can't get really good tolerance there. And what that causes is that you can hear that the bat bobbin will rattle a little bit in there. With the electric eel wheel six, there is just no rattle. there's just no rattle there. So that was that those are sort of some of the bigger changes and now I'm going to actually just demonstrate how the electric eel wheel 6 is quieter. So now let me just show you the difference in sound levels between the electric eel wheel 6 here and the electric eel wheel nano 1.1 here. So both are quite quiet and you can easily talk over either one. I'll, while I'm talking, I'll turn on the six to full speed. So another thing to notice is that the electric eel wheel six is actually going at 1,800 RPMs at the flyer, whereas the nano goes significantly slower. So right there is the electric eel wheel nano at 1,000 RPMs. Um, so you know, to make it a really fair comparison, you should go at about a thousand RPMs on the electric eel wheel six, which is about there. But you can crank it up to twice that, almost twice that speed, and it still doesn't get much louder. But it is quieter when you're only going at about a thousand RPMs. So now I want to talk about two tools I use to help measure the sound levels. One of them is this tachometer. Now this allows me to precisely measure the speed of the flyer. And this one is a decibel meter, and this lets me measure the sound of the spinning wheels in decibels. Now, with these two tools, I was able to generate this graph. And what this is showing is the decibels produced by the electric eel wheel 6 and the electric eel wheel nano at different RPMs. Basically, this graph is showing that the electric eel wheel 6 is about 15 decibels quieter. So is that that equates to a difference of more than 10x difference. So decibels are a logarithmic scale. So every 10 decibels equates to about a 10x difference in volume levels as perceived by the human ear. So we're talking over a 10x difference in volume levels. I think that's a, a massive improvement. It's definitely the biggest change in decibels I've ever had from one generation to another. One other thing I would point out is that the type of sound does matter to the human ear. An example of this is you will often put on white background noise when you're sleeping, or some people will, uh, to help them sleep, even though that's just as loud as 
um, the other noise which is distracting them and preventing them from sleeping. So uh, depending on the circumstances, you know, certain noises are uh, less distracting than other. And I think that the electric eel wheel six and all I've done to remove all of the rattles and the clicks and things really makes it um, a not very noticeable sound. So uh, a, a large portion of the sound that you're getting from the electric eel wheel six is actually from the flyer spinning, which is generating wind and you're hearing a lot of uh, air noise. If you look here at my flyer design, you'll see that it's actually an oval shape and I changed that shape, it used to be round, to an oval during development because wind is one of the biggest noise makers uh, on the electric eel wheel six. And by changing the shape of the, uh, the uh, firearms and making them more aerodynamic, I generate less wind noise, which uh, actually reduced the electric eel wheel six total noise output significantly. So the electric eel wheel six is actually sounds a lot like um, a house fan. What I will point out is that the electric eel wheel six is undoubtedly the quietest e-spinner I've ever made. And even with the nano, people were saying that, you know, they could use that in um, knitting nights and it worked pretty well. I mean, everybody always wants it a little bit quieter or at least a lot of people want it quieter and I'm trying to deliver that with the electric eel wheel six. It's the quietest e-spinner I've ever made. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks.